Hi and welcome to the vlog. Today I'm going to tell you how you can be exempt from the ProDub license. The ProDub license is for people in the UK who want to copy music for purposes, such as DJs, dance instructors. If you are copying the music, then you need to purchase the ProDub license. So what if you don't have enough money to purchase this license? It's very doubtful, but the thing is, some people just can't afford to go out and splash out in all these different licenses. But remember, with these exemptions that I'm going to be telling you about, the venue or the premises itself has to have a license to play PRS or PPL music or any music that needs a license. So make sure that you have that as well. So the first exemption is don't copy your music. You know, it seems simple enough, you know, the license is for copying music, so don't copy the music. If you don't copy the music, you don't need the license, because that is exactly what it's for. Now, by copying, what does that actually mean? That actually means by copying it from a CD to MP3, um, from WAV file to MP3, uh, from vinyl record to CD, you know, that even that is copying the music. It just that's exactly what it means by copying the music. Even if you take it from a laptop to CD, or even from a laptop to a flash drive, that is copying. So just don't copy any of the music that is registered to PRS or PPL. But sometimes that can be hard, and the reason being is that the majority of music out there is registered to PRS and PPL, and that is what that license covers. It covers PRS and PPL music. It doesn't co cover anybody else's music. Remember to play the music directly from the device that you've actually downloaded it onto or from a CD and you know play it on a CD player but remember that CD has to be an original copy. Just things like that. If you've downloaded the music onto your laptop use the laptop. So the next exemption is play royalty free music. Royalty free music is the kind of music that you go and purchase and uh, normally it's you know you pay around about 40 pound or something like that and uh, that gives you a license to actually use the music and once you've purchased that you can then use it as long as the license itself you know the royalty free rules uh, includes business use so you'll need to check that you'll need to check the tnc's but this can be quite tricky this can be quite hard a lot of the royalty free places out there normally they don't allow business use or YouTube use or anything like that. So I, I would check that out, you know, read the TNCs, check to see whether you're allowed to use the, the music for business use and you're allowed to copy it. If you're not sure, contact the people that are giving you the royalty free music and ask them if it's okay to do that. So the fact that, you know, you don't really know, you know, every royalty free music site is different of how they, they license the music to you there is a license out there that tells you exactly what you can and can't do with the music and that is the creative commons and that's exemption three download music that is creative commons licensed especially creative commons attribution license you can also use creative commons attribution share alike as well because you can use that for business and if you're just copying it for business use then that's fine just as long as it doesn't have the non-commercial part in it but like I've said in a lot of my videos before do check that they are genuine Creative Commons licensed tracks use your due diligence because you may pick up some tracks which are not Creative Commons licensed and they've been illegally uploaded next up is public domain um, Unfortunately, public domain tracks, you know, they will be really, really old tracks, so you probably won't want to use them. But if they are public domain, you can use them, you can copy them, you can use them in businesses, um, you don't need a license. Public domain tracks can be used for whatever purpose that you want to use them for. But it's finding the kind of tracks that you want to use that is going to be very 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 hard for the likes of myself i can't see me finding any happy hardcore public domain tracks and the fifth exemption is play your own tracks if you write your own music and you want to use your music in these places if you're a dance instructor if you're a dj play your own music you are probably the licensor of that music so if you are use that music. P 
PPRS and PPL might not have a control over that, depending on whether you've registered with them or not. And uh, you'll be free to, to use it and not purchase a Pro Dub license. So there you go. You can copy that music to your heart's content. So if this video has helped you in any way, smash my head, subscribe to this channel, and if it hasn't, you know, check out my other channel and or check out one of these other videos. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.